Okay guys, so here we are cooking the boats. We're getting ready to fiberglass a uh, Tolman jumbo roof. It's about 12 feet long. So you see how we've got, this is six ounce cloth. We have pre-filleted, which is we took a spatula with thickened putty and we filled our inside 90s. We also rounded the top edges all the way around. The top edges are round so we can bend the glass. See how that glass bends real nice? That's key. You don't want any pockets. So we've got all of this fiberglass all laid smooth. You can see the putty starting to wet out a little bit. So now we're going to fiberglass and Eddie's mixing clear right now. And we're gonna show you how we, um, how we will wet out and how that works. So this is how you do, you laminate with clear laminating epoxy. So. We should be able to squeegee and get all this wet out here pretty quick. Okay guys, so here we are, and I'm gonna show you how to do clear laminating epoxy, how to wet out. So we're using uh, Ebon epoxy. This is a two to one, and I think he went about half and half, half medium, half fast. So I've got about 10 minutes in the pot probably. So you're gonna need clear laminating, and you're going to need, this is the main thing on big flats like this. So you can see how I'm going to use this to, to spread the clear laminating. You're also going to need a bristle brush. So that works good for your corners, like when you're going to be wetting your corners out. And then a lot of times we take a roller, any like quarter inch to three eighths nap roller works good because you can come back over pre-wet and you can use the roller to dab. So here's how it works. So on six ounce glass like this, you're gonna to wanna to just start pouring little dabs. So we're gonna start with that. So I can, you can see all the ridges of the filleting. I'm gonna to have to work around that. So I'm gonna start clearing and you can slowly, if he can come in a little bit, he can see, you can see right here how it's starting to get clear. So this is not a very thin epoxy. We have a three to one that will thin better, but this does soak, it just takes a little bit. You know, it's only about an 800 CPS, so it doesn't soak in like some of the clear laminating, but it's a good general purpose. It does do a good job. So you see how all of this is starting to wet out. So you can see how you just take your, take your spreader and you just work it around. And then we're gonna do a little dab here. And here you can, you can just start kind of wetting it in there, working it in. And then here's, a, here's where your roller comes in handy. So you just start rolling. And you don't want to over wet, you just dab a little bit. You can see the other key is, like in the beginning of the video when I did a video, we have all of this pre-pressed into our fillet really carefully. You see that real tight? That helps hold it in and we lay it all so there's no wrinkles. That's the key. So you see I'm wetting out. I have a little bit of cupping here. I'm gonna get a little bit more wet. And then, so up here in the front, here's how you're gonna do an outside edge. The one thing we should have done that I didn't think about, up here on the hood, which we should have probably put a piece of cardboard but I will, if I'm careful and I work this edge, then that will, I can work it around the edge with the roller. So I'm gonna start working up right here. I'm gonna get just a little, so you just dab a little bit, soak the end of your roller, and then you just start kind of rolling the edge like this. So you have to wrap this open grain here. So this is key, if you can zoom up here. You see this open grain? You need to wrap your glass. We have that all pre-routered. You must wrap around. You cannot have open grain plywood. In fact, a lot of times we'll take putty in our hands and we'll smear, and then the next day we'll shape it with a sander. So we have a really nice 3 8 to one, about a half inch round over. So I'm just gonna keep working this. You can see how it's starting to get clear on this edge. So if I'm careful, I won't get a bunch of dripping down on my, my hood. So that's pretty much how you do it. You just work this stuff. Depending on your work time, we use pretty fast epoxy because we're 
getting it out. You can see I'm about half empty already. That didn't take but three, four minutes. So that's pretty much how it works. You make sure there's no bubbles. So I can come back here with my brush. You know, you can work. There's a little bit of bubbling there. And I can dab here to make sure I'm wet out. You can take the brush, work your edges. That's how you work. You can also use the brush right here as a little bubble to pop bubbles out. Work the edge, make sure it's all tight. All your glass needs to have all the bubbles out. That will keep moisture intrusion in the future. So that's pretty much how it is. Now I will probably come back over here. It's soaking into this end grain real good. So I need to keep coming back over and reapplying a little bit of clear off of the brush so that it continues to wet. So here's the next key. So I'll show you in the next video here in the next week or two. Here is the key. After this kicks and it starts getting tacky in two hours, I'm going to make epoxy with phenolic microballoons, which is purple stuff, and wood flour and a little bit of cabosil. Most about 50%. And then we will take this and we will start spreading it to fill all of this grain. You can see the, the ridging of the, you know, the glass has like, you can hear the glass a little bit. So if you do that, then you get chemical bonding and you don't have to sand between coats. And that's key because then you can only sand, all you have to do is sand once and paint it, roll it good and you'll fill all your micro sphere holes and you'll have a pretty decent finish, you know, a 10 foot finish. So that's how it is.